Welcome to another KOB streaming service tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to have maintenance on our system to avoid buffering. Now, buffering is very annoying, isn't it? You get that little circling in the middle and your video just stops. And no one likes buffering. And so in this video, we will learn how we can eliminate or minimize buffering altogether. So what causes buffering in the first place? Well, there's many things that could cause buffering. Slow internet connection, internet traffic, uh, that's many individuals on the internet in a particular area at, at the same time. Too many devices using the same router. Outdated or bad equipment. Uh, overloaded devices, uh, too many apps on one device. And also the streaming service can also be a cause of it. And so again, we want to have maintenance because this will give us the best stream ex experience uh, to avoid uh, buffering. You need to have a maintenance program if you're going to have live television streaming, uh, period. And so when it comes to uh, fire sticks and TV boxes, uh, they're nothing but small computers. So we need to treat them as such. Uh, they need to be treated as a small computer and computer needs maintenance. And so let's talk about the equipment first of all. Uh, make sure your modem and routers are up to date. So you don't want a modem or router from uh, 10 years ago, different things of that nature. As a matter of fact, every few years, uh, every four or five years or so, you should uh, look into investing uh, to get a new modem and a router. So, so how can you find uh, the best modem and a router that you can afford? Well, go on the internet and do a search. Uh, that's all. Look at the reviews and, and different things of that nature, and you should be able to get a good router and a good modem. Uh, do you have an up-to-date device? Uh, that's a, another a question we want to uh, ask ourselves. And so, again, you don't want to use a fire stick, for instance, that's uh, the first fire stick that came out or, or the second one. You want to have an up-to-date uh, device. And so keep in mind, it's just like a cell phone. Uh, you know, if you have a cell phone from five years ago, it's, up, it's outdated right now, right? So you want to have a good uh, device. Delete any apps or programs that you are not using. We'll show you how to do that in a moment. Disabling unnecessary options will help the speed of your device. Uh, we'll show you how to do that also. And stop other apps and programs from running in the background. We'll do a tutorial on that. And one moment. Another thing you want to make sure is that you can get the best service, the best internet service uh, that your budget will allow. Uh, call your internet service provider to make sure you're getting the speeds that you are paying for. And so we want to make sure that we do that. Uh, we recommend that you at least get 25 megabytes per second. And that's actually pretty low. But uh, I was looking around the country and some internet uh, service providers uh, only allow that. But again, make sure that you get the best uh, internet service that you can. And we recommend no less than 25 megabytes per second. Although you can stream HD video at 15 megabytes per second, we recommend that you at least get 25. Um, you can check your internet speeds on the Smarters app. We'll also uh, show you how to do that. And I showed you that in one of the last videos uh, that, that we had. One thing we want to do, we're going to have a checklist. And in this checklist, we want to do this every two weeks. So you want to reboot your modem and your router. Well, how do you do that? You unplug it for about 20 to 30 seconds, and then you plug it back in, and that reboots it, and it refreshes your modem and your router. Uh, we want to reboot your streaming device. And so whatever you're using, such as a Fire Stick, you want to reboot that. So you can do that during your routine maintenance. And also, you want to clear your cache. And we'll show you how to do that uh, on the video. And so let's get into the, 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 um, the actual uh, doing these things so we can show you how to maintain uh, your uh, device and how you can keep your streaming uh, live and without the buffering. So the first thing you want to do is to go to settings. And we learned this in a, a previous video. So you go down and you go over, and we're gonna to go to preferences, okay? And so once you click preferences, you get parent to control uh, privacy settings. So click that. 
if you want the fastest experience, a uh, device uses data, you want that off. Uh, collect app uses data, you want that off. And internet based ads. These actually are things that uh, Amazon monitor. They monitor your device and they uh, see what you're using and see what you're doing. Turn these off because that kind of slows down your, um, your device. And so it clogs up your device and slows it down. Uh, data monitoring, same thing. You can turn that off. Uh, notification settings, same thing. Turn it off. So you want to turn off anything uh, that communicates with Amazon because, again, it slows down uh, your content. Uh, featured content. Uh, I turn these off too myself. Now, if you want to keep these on, you can, but I turn everything off. Uh, sync the recent content. I also uh, turn that off. So I usually don't like anything running and just communicating with Amazon. I turn all these things off, uh, even the metric unit. So just go to preferences and turn off all the things that you don't really need. And then it speeds up your um, the information here. Okay. So you've done that. So let's go back here. And I'm going to hit the home key. Let me just go, let's go, just go back home. And one thing you want to download is an app. And what you, and what you do is, is how you download apps. And we learned that from other video is you go into the search icon. All right. The magnifying glass. And one thing you're going to look for is the, and you just type it in background and when you type in background this app will come up background apps and process list this app shows you everything that's running in the background on your fire stick all right and i also have this on uh, my other television and uh, it's an android television and i was able to download the same thing but let's click into that and what it does it shows you everything that's running in the background now you want everything um Close. You don't want nothing running in the background because it slows down your device. So we're going to do, we're going to go up top. You see that? And we're going to just close our apps. And what that does is it takes you uh, to where you can close the app. So you go down here and you just hit four stop. And it looks like it's not doing anything, but it is. So you go back and then it'll bring up the next one. Now, of course, this is the one we're going to have open, but you can still four stop it. I'm still going to four stop it. For stop, hit back, and it'll take you to here. Now, I don't know why I didn't uh, do this one. For stop, back, and then you click on that. For stop. So now I have nothing running in the background. Because if I, if I go out of that and come back into it, that should be gone too. So nothing's running in the background. So the only thing that's going to run in the background is what I have open. All right. So keep in mind, when you have things running in the background, it can cause buffering because it slows down your system. So just keep that keep that in mind. And so that's it for that. So now let's get out of this. And so we want to make sure uh, that we are doing that. OK. All right. So let's go into our IPTV Smarters app. And I already did a video on how to set this up for for maximum use. But we're going to show you and see how fast the internet is going. So let's go here. You go to settings and you go down to speed test. All right. So you find your speed test on here. Sometimes it, it may be in the corner. Sometimes it's over here, just depending on your uh, particular Smarters app. And you click it. Click speed test. And you're mo most concerned about that middle, the download speeds. And you want to get at least 25 megabytes per second. And you see mine is at 80.34. So again, um, it's, it's pretty good. So we go back and we come out of that. If you do these things uh, that we, we just talked about, you shouldn't have any problem with buffering. And if you do, it's because of our system. But our system is pretty good. And so again, if you're having buffering after that, uh, just uh, contact me. And we can find out what's really going on with your information. Now, again, sometimes you are going to get a little buffering. So we're not going to say that. It's impossible to stop all buffering. Uh, but most buffering, uh, we can't stop. So if I go back into the background, that should be the only uh, thing running is the IPTV Smarters. You see that? So you close everything out, and then the only thing that's running is that. And when you're watching video and television, that's the only thing uh, that you should have running. 
let me see if there's anything else that uh, we could do to uh, help out with the, the Wi-Fi. Uh, another thing, too, is um, let's go back to uh, home. And let's go back to settings. And then you're going to go to applications. Uh, this is another thing that you want to do. And again, with your maintenance program every two weeks, uh, go down to manage installed apps. As a matter of fact, when you get here, you can see how much space you have left. So I'm pretty decent. You see how much space I have left. Uh, so the white line is how much space I'm using. And the gray is how much I have left uh, to use. So you click manage installed apps and you go down. And what you want to do is clear uh, the cache. And the cache, you see that there, and I'll show you in a moment. Uh, I have no cache there, no cache. So this one, Amazon Photos, I have the cache here. So you just click into it. You go down, clear cache. Come out of that, you pick the next app. You go down, clear cache. Go down, clear cache. So you do this for all of your apps. You just go all the way down, and you clear the cache, and that opens up space on your, your browser because cache takes up a lot of space on your browser. And so again, you see, I have more space now than I did before. So if I go through and I, um, you know, clear all of my cache, uh, then you're good. So those are the things you want to do. Remember, reboot your, your router and your modem. You want to eliminate any um, in the background, any apps in the background, you want to clear cache. One other thing that you want to do also during that maintenance, remember we talked about rebooting your system. And so here, we go back here, and you go to My Fire TV, you go down, and you just click Restart, and then you restart it. And it should reboot, takes about you know, 60, um, to 60 seconds to 2 minutes to restart and to reload, and you want to do that. So if you do that every 2 weeks, then you're good. Let's say the 1st and the 15th of every month, you're going to set your phone to go ahead and do your maintenance. If you do that, you should be good. So again, if you have any questions... Um, on this uh, information, again, you can uh, email me at kobtvhelp at gmail.com. That's kobtvhelp at gmail.com. And uh, I'll answer any questions that I have for you. So, again, we thank you for tuning in to this tutorial. And, again, signing off, Kevin Brown. Uh, you have a, a wonderful day.